Okay, what I'm going to be showing you today is a setup to hit the Dark World Pipe missile in. This setup was found by Pan and Co. 2012, and basically the way it works is you finish reading the sign here, and then you turn with Z and a down press at the same time. This causes Mario to turn towards the camera a little bit more than 90 degrees. Then we punch forward once. Normally we wouldn't be able to do this because of the sign, but because of that little bit more than 90 degrees, Mario does not read the sign. Then we walk at full speed right up until Mario's shadow just barely touches this corner. And if we wanted to see if Mario's shadow is on the corner, it's too far. So we want to be just barely touching the corner. Then we hard turn to the right and we keep turning at the maximum speed. And we keep turning right until Mario's shadow gets just a little bit below the top of the uh, wood part here. You can see um, right here the shadow almost touches this black bar here. And that's what we're shooting for. We can tell if Mario has gone too far if his fist touches his shadow. So at this point we're holding hard to the left and we're gonna dive so we dive and we just keep holding hard to the left the whole time right up until Mario's shadow covers this crack right here you can tell that Mario has gone too far if the crack is halfway up his shadow we want it to just barely touch be touching the crack and we do a diver cover and just keep holding left out the whole time that gets Mario right in the misalignment you do have to be a little careful because if you keep holding left the entire time then Mario is just gonna walk right off so it is advised to pause buffer uh, in some form you can go neutral joystick and Mario will ledge grab you can ground pound and that'll work too um, or you can just pause and um, if it says exit course, then um, that's when you'll want to uh, you'll want to pause. Uh, you'll want to uh, basically just stop if you pause and it says exit course. So that means Mario has stopped completely, and then you just unpause and do nothing, and then go right in the pipe. So let's look at a couple of real time attempts. These are being done in real time right now. So since I'm on controller, I do have to pause buffer this first input. I'm holding down and I press Z the frame that I unpause. Then we do a punch. And again, I have to pause buffer this input. And we're just going to keep going until there. So we see Mario's shadow is on the corner. He's gone a little bit too far. In this case, if this happens, we're just going to hold straight up and go back to the sign. Anytime you mess up an attempt, just read the sign again. It puts Mario exactly where he needs to be. Still a little bit too far. And there, you see Mario started sliding. That means you pressed Z too late. One benefit a keyboard has over controller in this sense is they can press Z and down on the same exact frame, as well as pause. Now we start turning, and it's very important to keep turning max magnitude. So now we can see Mario's shadow is t almost touching that black bar here, so we want to dive on this frame. 
and now we see Mario's shadow has started touching that crack, so we dive recover. And that gets us right on the missile limit. I hope this helps.